So for today, we're going to be looking at the Sublime set. If you guys don't know, we've already done the review video, the shader video, and the Hunter and Titan video. They're both right here, or all of them are right here. So unfortunately, this armor is unobtainable now. Actually, even more so because the base look of the Sublime set will definitely be unobtainable next year. Unless Bungie does a really cool thing where all of the older sets from previous... Uh, years come back without with Nanglo, that would be really cool and honestly i'm still surprised they haven't done that but uh if you do like this armor and you're like fuck it, i want to get it just in any sh way shape or form you can wait until next year so that way you can buy the glow version unfortunately i'm not the biggest fan of this glow version that being said i really do regret not getting the glow version specifically the subclass glow just because i've seen people do some dope shit with it and i'm mad for not getting it so next year i will definitely be getting most likely all of the glows just so that way i can have it and again i always say get a piece get all the set because you might never know when you might need it this is a prime example someone did a really cool set for the new exotic that we got this the uh the uh auto rifle and i immediately regretted it because he they ended up using the arms on a hunter and it looked so fucking cool i'm mad at I'm, either way this is a good example of just you might never know in an armor set it looks really cool so i always always heed you just to get the armor if you have the ability to do so so let me know what you guys think if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification other than that let's get into it so to start off, we're going to be using the Sublime Hood and the Sublime Bond. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I freaking hate this helmet. I don't want to cuss too early in the video. I don't want to like this helmet at all. Like, I think it's terrible. Very goofy, in my opinion. Uh, so honestly, if I were to tell you anything, I would just switch the helmet out immediately. I would probably still keep the Sublime Bond because it's not bad by any means. It's just kind of like more on the like super simple side. But for the arms, we're going to be using Aaron Swagger for the Getaway Artist, for the Chest Beast, Intrepid Inquiry Robes, and then for the Boots, Hold Fast Boots. For the shader, Iron Bone, literally one of my favorite shaders to put on cloth just because it looks amazing. And yeah, this one's I'm not going to talk too much about this one because honestly, this feels like a set that I took from something else, which is very valid considering that is the case. I've used the getaway artist with Aaron Swag Swagger with the Intrepid Inquiry and Whole Fast Boots with a lot of other things. So it's not like a new thing. I just immediately was like, I'm going to combine this with that set because I do think it's going to look really, really cool. That being said, I hate this helmet and I will most likely never use it. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next sets, I'm going to be honest, I will most likely be using all of these sets. So Sublime Gloves, I think by far are the best piece from this whole thing. Uh, maybe the maybe the chest piece as well, but the arms are fucking amazing. And I really need to cuss there because I need, I need you guys to know just how beautiful these arms are. So for the shader, Grand Luster for all of it. For the exotic, we're going to be using Felwinter's Helm. For the chest piece, Skaldic Chunt Robes. For the boots and the bond hexer boots and bond so yeah i love this set it's amazing so first and foremost the fact that these subline gloves go really well with your warrior type thing is why i think it's amazing we don't have a lot of good warrior arms this one is going to be the one i go to all the time now just because again it gives off that vibe of just being a warrior that being said i wish it shaded a little bit better because the like not the the main plate is white, but the uh, the outer plating is black, which is very unfortunate because that is an off color. So th that's going to be annoying for some people. I personally don't think it's going to be that annoying for me just because I will find a way around it. But again, I don't think I should be finding a way around it. Um, overall, yeah, this is like probably my favorite one so far. That being said, there we do have two others that I have. I don't know if I like love them as much as this one because this one is amazing. Honestly, like. Honestly, the only thing I would switch out from here would probably be Felwinter's Helm and use something that I actually use. If I were, if I were to use a helmet with this, I would probably go with like maybe Nezerak Sin most likely. Just because ne I do use Nezerak Sin quite a bit. But there are some other exotics that I would probably put in here. Like maybe Don Chorus with or without the ornament would look really metal. Um, I think that would be it. Like maybe Fallen Sunstar would also look really cool with it. But let me know what you guys think about this set. As for the next set, if you guys don't know, if you guys haven't seen the Omega Mechanos set, uh, arm set, I will put up, put it up right now. Unfortunately, the arms are unavailable now because it, it is Tuesday. 
but actually maybe maybe depending on what time i post this it may or may oh wait, hold on i have the yeah i could i guess i could post this on at 10 so that way you guys have one last chance to pick these arms up so i don't remember what the what the reset time is either 12 or 1 on my time but either way i will most likely post this at 10 a.m so that way people have some time to get it because i think the arms at least for the titans and hunters are worth it the arms for the warlocks not so much but that if you want to re replicate this then by all means get the omega mechanos arms but for the helmet we're going to be using the astrocyte verse for the chest piece sublime ropes for the boots wrath trail boots and then for the bond coronation bond for the shader we're using royal treatment because obviously we're using the astrocyte verse and honestly i love the way that the brown cloth looks it looks so good it looks exactly like leather so yeah i really like this set um i talked about it in that video but i'll talk about it here as well i love the fact that the sublime ropes just goes really well with the wrath trail boots honestly the coronation bond is just like one of my one of the things i use a lot which i really should veto myself because i do like these on pretty much anything but it gives off a scholarly bond or not bond but scholarly vibe which is what i like and yeah i think astrocyte versus is really good with this set so let me know what you guys think about this one and last but not least, we have the Wall Watcher rope. So this one is going to go before or after, no, before the Wall Watcher stuff, specifically the playlist armor. So be stay tuned for that because I do have the playlist armor review video and shader video coming out. I think uh, Friday was it? No, it's Thursday. So Thursday we'll have the playlist review and the shader video. So that way you guys are aware that I'm currently doing that. So for this one, we're going to be using we're going to be using Apothesis Veil for the arms contender gloves for the chest piece wall watcher robes for the boots sublime boots and then for the bond technologic bond for the shader gamekeeper just because I think it looks really cool with the set and honestly the gamekeeper has a really good green that goes well with the uh, Apothesis Veil stone. So I actually really like this one. It gives off like a, like not soldier, but like an officer vibe, like in an army that if that makes any sense, which is why I really like wall watcher robes, just wall watcher in general, that's going to be the best one for you. And if you guys don't know, that's the Vanguard variant. So in the review video, I'm essentially going to say that the wall watcher or the Vanguard variant is the variant you want because the crucible variant and the, um, the gambit variant have snakes and Phoenix, um, decals which I think is terrible for shadering. To be fair, this does have the Vanguard logo, but it's so small that it doesn't really matter to me. So that's why I think the Vanguard one is way better. So I would always tell you, get the Vanguard stuff if you can, because usually, usually it's really good with shadering and whatnot, because the, the Gambit and Crucible one are usually asymmetrical when it comes to the shader, which is why I really don't like it. But yeah, overall, I think this, definitely is not my favorite i think the second one's my favorite for sure but this one is so cool because it does give off that officer vibe and honestly if i were to change one thing i would probably take out the technologic bond and just have no bond in there or have something that looks a little bit more officer-ish but yeah we're using the sublime boots for this one which i think is really cool the steel toed boots is really cool especially with the back you have like this exhaust pipe that if you guys don't know the glow actually comes out it looks like fire it looks really cool but let me know what you guys think i really appreciate you guys coming to this point um let me know which one was your favorite warlocks i do apologize that i made this after the event is over but i did tell you multiple times in multiple videos to get this armor because this armor is really good um and i did also explain that i was going to make this video later because unfortunately when all of the armor fixes came well fixes in quotations um the warlocks were the only class that was not fixed which is why the review video for the sublime set was using the white glow because the warlocks had the white glow i didn't want the other two classes to have no glow because that would be unfair for the warlocks so again hopefully you got the armor when i told you because again this armor is really cool i think like what is it three out of the four or no four out of the one yeah the helmet's the only piece that i'm like this is trash everything else amazing so let me know what you guys think did you guys pick it up let me know in the comments below but peace safe i will see you guys later